Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be one of those videos that drill bit manufacturers won't want you to see. Well, probably at least. Now, I don't know about you, but YouTube loves to recommend me these life hack videos. Short videos about cool ways to do stuff. And between you and me, I love me a good life hack, especially if it has machining in it. Need a bar of steel cut? Why use a big expensive bandsaw when you have a perfectly good hacksaw on hand? The possibilities are endless. Now a video that's done the rounds for me a few times is drilling through hardened steel with masonry bits. It's not something that I've ever had to do, but I have worked hard in stainless and titanium before, and that stuff can be pretty difficult to drill through. Now normally I think the course of action is just to turn to a solid carbide drill. Carbide is generally harder than hardened steel, and that's what you need to drill through it. For example, what I have here is a high-speed steel lathe tool and a carbide parting blade. And as you can probably see, the carbide is harder than the high-speed steel and it's able to scratch it. Unfortunately though, these solid carbide drills are pretty expensive. I think a good 8mm carbide drill can easily set you back 140 150 bucks. Now for a production shop, investing that much money into a single drill is a no-brainer. Carbide can drill faster and last longer than high-speed steel, so you can manufacture parts a lot quicker and have a lot less downtime when you have to replace the worn-out drill. But for a hobbyist like me, 150 bucks is a lot to ask for a single drill bit. And that's where our life hack comes in. Apparently it should be possible to drill hardened steel with a masonry bit. And if that's true, that's a pretty cool life hack. They're much cheaper than a solid carbide drill, but they still have a carbide tip, which is really doing most of the work. The shank is obviously going to be made of steel, but it should be okay for what we need. The only thing that makes me doubt it though, is that cutting edge. A normal drill bit has a specific rake and clearance to allow it to cut a straight hole that's pretty much close to the size that's indicated on the shank. Obviously, if we need a very precise hole, we'd need to ream it or bore it to size, but when you drill an 8mm hole with an 8mm drill, you'd expect the hole to be pretty much 8mm. The geometry on the masonry bit just doesn't inspire the same confidence. It doesn't have the same geometry, and I'm pretty sure it's meant for drilling stone, not metal. So I'm not really expecting all that much. And it should go without saying, this is a good quality masonry bit. This one that I have here is one of those $5 box of 10 masonry bits that you can get from the hardware store, and it's a bit of a mess. It barely cuts stone, so I wouldn't expect it to cut hardened steel. So what I'll try and drill through is a high-speed steel parting blade, roughly 66 Rockwell C hardness, which is pretty darn hard. Now unsurprisingly, it's starting to walk about on the surface. There's nothing really for it to bite into, and I couldn't use a spotting drill to get it started. After a bit of patience though, it is starting to bite in. And once it got going, it really got going. And to my surprise, it actually started to produce some proper chips by the end. So yeah, to my surprise, it actually did produce a hole. Although measuring it, it's definitely not the most precise hole. In fact, it seems to be about half a mil oversized. It's also a pretty thin parting blade, so if I was drilling anything thicker, I wouldn't really expect it to be drilling a perfectly straight hole. And the carbide on that masonry bit looks to be pretty mangled, and that's only after one hole. So pretty much this seems to be a one, or if you really want to push it, a two shot deal. So yeah, it seemed to work, but definitely nothing special. And that's pretty standard for life hacks nowadays. So there you have it. Not really sure how useful this life hack was, but it does seem to work. I'm not sure how you could really apply it in the real world. 
I think possibly if you're drilling a case hardened part, you could use the masonry bit to drill through the hardened layer to get through to the softer core and then take over with a regular drill bit. But apart from that, I'm not exactly sure how useful this life hack is. I guess the real takeaway is just be careful of some of these life hacks. Some of them do work, but some of these are not as great as promised. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.